Rotating model space content. Our V P rotate associate a system variable determines if we rotate the model when we rotate a floating viewport. And normally this application is done in civil engineering, and particularly road design. And they tend to want to uh, make the road go north or you know they want to make the road go horizontally across the long ways of the sheet of paper. So let's take a look at this system variable. So on the command line we type in VP rotate association hit enter and we see the the value is a setting of one so that means when we rotate our floating viewport the model space will align with the viewport rotation. So let's go in and, and try that. So now I'm going to go up and I'm going to use my rotate command. And I'm going to select on my viewport. I'm going to hit enter. Pick a base point in the middle. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. You'll see my viewport rotated and my model objects rotated. And now let's go and try it. We'll undo that. Now, let's go and set our system variable uh, VP rotate associative to zero. And we hit enter. Now I'm going to go up and I'm going to rotate my floating viewport. I'm going to pick a base point. I'm going to rotate it 45 degrees. And you'll see only the viewport rotated where the model space stayed consistent. So, um, this is a unique situation. Typically, when we are trying to uh, rotate long objects uh, to the length of the paper, or in sometimes road design when we want things to go due north or, or, or due east and west type things. So, uh, our system variable once again is VP. We, all can, we have to type it VP rotate. And of course, our autofill will automatically type that in, but it's VP rotate associ. And so it's associative, the model space is associative to the floating viewport.